this group has already shown that we can achieve great things together. And so I think part of our responsibility, our shared responsibility, is to explain to anyone who isn't already convinced that free trade is uh, crucial to our success, but also that our interconnectedness is, uh, is manifested in that, uh, in that trade relationship. We look at the example of uh, the Tr Detroit River, I think we can see the evidence of how, a very, a very specific example of how working together um, means that we can achieve success as the evidence of what's possible. Uh, restoring the Detroit River required committed, cooperative partnerships between many groups on both sides of the border. We know that there's still a lot to do. Um, we know that we're dealing with aging infrastructure in, uh, on many of our waterways. Um, we, we know that the uh, continued threat of, uh, of invasive species, aquatic invasive species, is something that we need to tackle. And again, one of the resolutions that uh, that we have uh, that we've worked on is about what more can we do to protect all of the lakes uh, from aquatic invasive species. These are these are complex challenges. Some of them are new. Some of them are not. Some of them are things that we have been tackling for some time. But I look forward to continuing to work with all of our colleagues to make sure that we find the best solutions uh, for all of our jurisdictions. I'm more neighbors. We're friends. We're partners. So this shouldn't be viewed as about people fighting between countries. This needs to be viewed as how we can win together. Um, because we're all better when we do things together and understand we've got much more in common than we have apart. And we can raise the well-being of all our people by working more closely together.